All right, people, we've got another online release. This seems to be the time we're living in. Let's hope that The Lovebirds is a little bit better than the other offerings that we've seen on Video On Demand lately. Okay, The Lovebirds. Now this movie was originally supposed to hit theaters back in April, but of course due to the ongoing pandemic, that release was delayed indefinitely and then Netflix scooped it up. And now it is premiering on the streaming platform today for people to enjoy and for me to review for you all. Now The Lovebirds stars Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani as a couple who are basically on the verge of breaking up when they inadvertently witness a murder and instead of staying at the crime scene and explaining themselves and exonerating themselves basically, they decide to flee the crime scene and make themselves suspects and they decide that they want to try to prove their innocence by following a series of clues in order to do so. And then you have your kind of romantic comedy murder mystery movie. Now, my biggest problem with this movie from the onset, even just from the trailers, is just it, it, it was going to take such a suspension of disbelief for me to be on board with the plot of the movie because it's just so dumb and it's just a terrible conceit. These two characters, as you have seen in the trailers, if you have seen the trailer, you know, they witness this murder, you know, this guy who says that he's a cop is chasing after someone, ends up killing the guy he's chasing after, and instead of staying at the crime scene, calling the police, explaining the situation, and, you know, clearing themselves as suspects, they just flee the crime scene and make themselves look super sketchy and suspicious, so it's just kind of hard to get on board with them from the get-go because they're just acting dumb when they're clearly not. But once you get past that inciting incident, really what keeps this movie afloat is the chemistry between Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani, because the two are actually great together. They weren't really working in the trailers, but thankfully in the movie, I think they have a lot of chemistry. I think they have a lot of great banter with one another. They're definitely elevating one another. And they make for a really fun pair to go on this adventure with, as dumb as it is. And there are some moments in this movie where I did really laugh. There are a few really amusing moments, definitely having to do with some great delivery from both these really talented performers. But ultimately, I found myself so disinterested in the story because the mystery at the center of the movie really isn't interesting at all. It's not intriguing at all. There's no really uh, twist or surprise that make this movie like super thrilling. And the comedy is not good enough to really warrant a recommendation overall, unfortunately. But like I said before, Issa Rae and uh, Kumail Nanjiani, they're definitely the reason to watch this movie. They keep it afloat. They keep it watchable. And if it wasn't for them, this movie would just be complete garbage. That's for sure. I mean, there's definitely some shades of like eyes wide shut thrown in there, especially having to do with the central mystery of it all. And like I said, there are some really funny moments sprinkled throughout this thing, but this movie isn't exactly laugh out loud hilarious, nor is it consistently funny. But I definitely do think the best part of this movie is the exploration of the relationship between these two characters, because, you know, before they witness this murder, they basically break up. Uh, and throughout the course of the movie, as they're going on this adventure, they're kind of discovering, you know, things that they didn't know about one another. They're kind of becoming a little bit closer again, and they're kind of working out a lot of their issues, which I really enjoyed that stuff. I thought that I wish the movie focused on that a little bit more because it would make it far more interesting. But in the end, The Lovebirds, I mean, there's really not a ton to say about this movie. It's just a watchable, disposable piece of ent entertainment that's definitely perfect for Netflix. So if you're looking for a, like a semi-fun way to pass an hour and a half, put The Lovebirds on. I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment in it. But for someone who wants a little bit, you know, more, who definitely wants a better comedy or just a better written film overall, this one didn't quite work for me, and I've kind of been disappointed with a lot, a lot of these video on demand or streaming platform movies, you know, that have been released lately. I just, I'm kind of looking for more. I'm looking for, like, a really good movie. I haven't seen one in a while, so I'm hoping there are, there are some better offerings in June. So in the end, I'm going to be giving The Lovebirds, I'm going to be giving this movie a C-, minus. a lot of C's coming your way lately. I'm sorry for that, but uh, I don't really control the quality of the movies that come out. I'm sorry. It's a disposable, very mediocre comedy that is definitely elevated by its two performers. And it could have been a lot better than it was, but it also could have been a lot worse than it was if these two performers weren't center stage. So if you're just looking for a fun way to pass an hour and a half, like I said before, I think this you could do a lot worse than The Lovebirds. You know, give it a shot. Maybe you'll enjoy it more than I did, but uh, I can't really give it a full recommendation, that's for sure. So that is my review of The Lovebirds. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you take it into consideration. If you consider seeing this film or not, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews coming your way. There are plenty more. There are a lot of uh, video on demand slash streaming platform releases coming out in the next couple months. Plus, I got some you know, other videos headed your way, so definitely subscribe. You will not regret it. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.